So I've got my filming crew today over here. But first we're going to start out with the tools. This is what we're going to latch onto the stud of the rear windshield. And then I'm going to have some zip ties that are going to go through here that will hold on the uh, radar detector. And then this is going to go through this loop which is going to attach to the clamp here. So let's go ahead and start. So with the rear view mirror, I've got the nice little stud right here. We're going to slide this tool on there. Just spread it apart. Then also I want that stud to be pushed down all the way so it has the steepest angle. And then have this right there. We're going to slide our 3D printed part right in here. And then put the screw on. Alright, so now I've got the entire part mounted in the back. Got the screw tight end with the nut and then the 3D printed part to mount the radar detector. Now what we're going to do is slide all of these in there. Sorry I don't have very long zip ties but we're just going to connect them all together and slide it through here and then go around the radar detector and tighten it down. Alright so here's the view of the outside of the vehicle. You can see the radar detector is looking pretty clean. Install. If you come on on the inside It's zip tied on there. And then you come up here. As you're driving, you can just look up to your right. Then you have the screen right here. It's uh, pushed up against here, so it's nice and stiff, which looks pretty good. Also, like it up here more than down here, just because one, it's higher up, so it can pick up the radar detector a little bit quicker. And two, it's a little bit more secluded since it's a little bit higher up. Now, what we're going to do is get the uh, wire and fish it through this nice little plastic bit here. Go all the way around, down the A-pillar, and all the way into the fuse box. So a quick little wire diagram. The wire above right here is going to fish all the way up to the windshield and connect to the radar detector. Here's the little control unit to mute it if you want to mute it. And then we're going to go all the way over here. There's a fuse inside here. We need to ground it to something, and then also I have the out of fuse already crimped together, and we're going to out of fuse it. Going underneath the truck, you can see right under here, if you stick a flathead right here, it'll pop off. And then now we're going to check out all these fuses. And I also went ahead and took off the one inside the engine compartment and underneath the fuse tray. I just popped this off right here and there's the little special tool for you to take out the fuses. Also underneath the cap where you pop the fuses off underneath the dashboard you can see it has this nice little diagram of what everything is. I was looking at doing the washer one for the 10 amps. That's also what uh, fuse I have for the radar detector so I think that'll work. The washer also isn't that important. It's not like ignition or um, timing or anything specific. So let's go ahead and test that one out and make sure it shuts on and off during ignition. Alright, so when we peel this off, we got the 10 amp right there. And there it is. Go ahead and pull that out. And then make sure you want to orient this uh, the correct way for you. Just slide it in. Nice and easy like that. And you can see this outer one, the lowest one, is going to go to the radar detector and then the one up here is actually going to go back to the washer. And so you can, all, you can have different colors here or different fuse ratings, but I just like to keep it the same just to have the same consistent draw. And then to ground it, I'm going to ground it on this nice little bolt right here, take that bolt off, get the nice little 10 millimeter socket, go ahead and loosen that. Super easy. Now, before we wire everything up, I would suggest plugging this into the radar detector, turning the key on, on and off, making sure the ignition, making sure that the uh, radar detector turns on and off when the ignition's turned on and off. All right, so we got it plugged in. Let's go ahead and put the ignition in. Got a thousand miles on the Toyota. Everything's turning on. Boom. 
Passport Max. Shut it off. Everything looks good. And then now we can fish that wire all the way up and then down and through here. All right, so what I would recommend is either popping out one of these sides, the left side or the right side. I popped out the bigger side because it's the largest hole and I actually ended up having to shave down both sides a little bit. But what I'm gonna do is fish the wire all the way back and then have it placed in there like so. And then I'm gonna hot glue it in there. I don't wanna drill it or glue it so it's gonna, you know, in case I sell the car or something, I can just take it out and then plug this back in there and then no one will ever know. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put some hot glue in there. All right, to get our wire all the way up there, we're gonna pull this piece out, pop it out, fish the wire through. And then I always put the uh, wire in the weather stripping all the way up. Just to right here. So you can see that SRS airbag goes all the way up here. I do not want to mess with that at all. Instead of going down and around, we're actually going to go up and over behind it, and then there will be no wire interfering it, which will be a lot better. You just want to sneak it up on this corner right here, and then you can pull it through. And then now there's no more worries that that wire is going to catch in the airbag. Now you can see if I come all the way over here, my wire is way too long. So what I did is just pull the weather stripping out a little bit, and then I'm just going to fish it back. And then just kind of estimate it a little bit. And then that looks pretty good. I would just give a couple inches of room, nothing crazy, and then we can fish it back up there. So now we got it all aligned, fish it back up there. Now Toyota's got this really cool wire thing. You just pull it down, and then we're able to slide our wire down through here. And for the bottom part, all you do is just pinch these, these bottom pieces in, and then you can take it out. Alright, so we want to go ahead and fish this all the way up. Bring it down. Now look how clean that install is. Fished it all the way with it, all the way through. We go ahead and plug it in. Got the nice click. Ignition. Come on, boom. All right, perfect. So now we got it all wired in here. It's gonna turn on and off. It's looking really nice. Go ahead and turn the ignition off, and then it turns right off, just like magic.